Twitter. Today, it's a very interesting day dahil pinaglalaan ko itong araw na to na ipag uh, i-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga kaartihan, kagandahan, mga updates about kung ano ngayon ang in, kung ano ngayon ang magandang gamit para sa ating sarili, lalo na sa mga babae when it comes to makeup. Okay. So, siguro for how many uh, of you who've been following me for months or maybe more than a year now, na napapansin niyo talagang mahilig talaga ako sa makeup. Ever since akong pumunta dito sa ibang bansa and started working as a nurse, talagang nilalaan ko something na a little bit of my my salary na bibili ako ng gustong-gusto kong makeup na hindi ko kayang bilhin noon. Because I've mentioned before, uh, lumaki talaga akong pobreng-pobre, taga-bukid kami. I have, I truly have, I cannot remember na masasabi ko sa sarili ko when I was in college kung nakagamit ba ako ng something na may brand. Wala talaga, wala talaga. Lagi talagang either lipstick galing sa bangketa or blush oil na galing sa bangketa. So ngayon, alam kong kayo, lagi kayo nanonood ng mga mga vlogs ng ibang ibang mga mga vloggers about makeup and so on so. Today, ipo-proof ko sa inyo kung ano talaga yung pino-promote nila, kung tama ba talaga, totoo ba talaga yung sinasabi nila na itong makeup na to is the best. Sa tagatagal-tagal ko na dito sa Canada, halos siguro lahat ng brand ng makeup naranasan ko na either brand na mamahalin or brand na medyo medium ang price or brand na medyo hindi masyadong mamahalin. Naranasan ko na yung lahat. Many times I was frustrated sa sa laki ng binayad mo. Let's say I bought one time, there was one time I bought this lipstick. I was still working as a nurse at that time. Na siguro ang presyo na isang lipstick ay doble ng dalawang sakong bigas. I bought it. Dahil sabi ko, siguro talagang maganda itong lipstick nito dahil ang mahal-mahal. I was very disappointed dahil talong-talo pa doon sa brand na hindi kasyadong, is, hindi masyadong mamahalin na nabili ko. I was very frustrated the money that I spent for that specific lipstick na hindi naman worth it doon sa price na binayad ko. So today, I'm going to share with you about some of the best makeup that I've chosen at masasabi ko sa inyo na either worth worth the money ba, worth buying ba, uh, how long does it last for mga, mga makeup. So, here's the thing. Based on study, you should be uh, changing your lipstick in two to three months. Mm -hmm. You should be changing your blush on or eye color about six months. Hindi lang nangyayari yun eh. Hindi nangyayari niyo. You should be changing your foundation even after after six months. No. Some people are using it more than a year. There are even some people using it even two years or three years. As long as maganda pa yung texture, hindi pa siya dry, hindi pa siya flaky. So today, it's the truth about kung ano yung nakikita niyo sa TikTok, ano nakikita niyo sa YouTube, kung yung mga makeup na isa-isahin ko yung iba na very common doon sa mga nakikita niyo kung totoo ba talaga. Now, number one, alam niyo na mahilig ako sa lipstick. Lipstick is life for me. At karamihan sa inyo, love the lipstick. Lipstick is life. So for me, I can be traveling anywhere. Well, no foundation, no blush on, but I have to have a lipstick. So I was just studying, I was just experimenting what's really the best lipstick that's worth the money, uh, good quality that I can share with you. So, I don't know if you have seen this one on, on, on videos. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung anong collection ko. Okay, so here's the thing. I bought this collection, okay? This collection of the so-called Maybelline Superstay lipstick, okay? I have this one, two, three, six colors, okay? Um, I'm not promoting this product. They're not giving me money for this. I'm just sharing it to you kung what, whatever is the review kung totoo ba o hindi. So, I've you've been using this product for probably uh, 
3-4 years at ngayon ko lang na discover itong uh, super stay sinasabi nila super stay lip lipstick okay so you can prove i'm going to prove it to you if it's really super stay because yun ang lagi niyo nakikita and and it's also it's super stay it says here super stay so we'll try okay so i'm wearing a little bit metallic right now so I have a lipstick different from this brand. So we'll remove that and I'm going to prove to you if it's really super stay. Okay. I'm gonna put my camera closer. I'm by myself, so I have no cameraman, camera woman. But we're gonna try and see. Okay, we need a mirror. Okay, here we go. So because I have this six color, see? I'm going to try metallic metallic so I'm gonna go a little bit darker nude okay so either this or this so I'm probably gonna choose this okay so I I tried other color before but I haven't tried this color yet okay so this is the first time I'll, I'm gonna try this color we'll see how it goes uh-huh Wow, it's really pigmented. So I'm gonna close my, mm -hmm. okay, so we're back. Okay, so you have it, mm-hmm. So we're gonna see if that's, we're gonna play for like, supposed to stay there maybe 30 seconds and then we're gonna try if it's really super stay. Okay, let's see. So it's not sticky, okay? When you use it, it's not sticky. It's really, you can really feel that it sticks to your lip. Talagang dumidikit sa lip nyo. So we'll see now. Probably it's been 30 seconds now, so we're gonna try. So you see my hand, I have nothing on it, nothing on it. So we're gonna try. Uh, you see any lipstick? Yes, there's a lipstick on it. However, this is the two test. Let's say you're eating, you're eating, and then suddenly you just go to the washroom and look at your lip, your lip thick, lipstick is gone. But this one, I did this one every time. Less now. So the longer you wait, maybe more than a minute, the longer it stays. It's really super stay lipstick. So let me remove it. We're gonna try. We're gonna remove it, okay? My goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, the lipstick is still there. So the stain is there. It's a super stain, super stay lipstick. So it's true. So it's proven. So now it's up to you. I know everywhere, Maybelline product is everywhere. It's up to you now, it's proven, okay? You see this one in, in so many blogs, so many videos, I've proven to you if it's really worth the money. I've concluded now it's worth the money. So if if you can invest, makeup is an investment, okay? It's a beauty investment for me. It's a beauty investment. Without without makeup, I don't think um, uh, I can be I can be comfortably. Let's say if I travel, if I go somewhere, something good occasion without a really good lipstick. To me, I would rather get the best lipstick, a good lipstick than, and then have maybe a less expensive foundation or, or blush on. Lipstick is lipstick for me. Now, that's for the lipstick. Now, you've probably seen videos about blush color, highlighter, uh, um, blush on colors, uh, bronzers, all these things that 
first you have to put the bronzer on then you have to put the blush on and then then you have to put the highlighter so i'm going to compare with you is show was saying you about uh, a highlighter a blush on the price of it is it worth it is it not worth it so it's up to you to identify okay is it worth it that i'm gonna buy this brand name uh or i just want to minimize my budget and have this uh brand name but it's not too expensive so i'm gonna show you um just two um kind of expensive brand of um blush on highlighter and um what's what your bronzer okay bronzer so i bought this is the first um palette uh, makeup palette, palette of that i bought from dior okay i will not tell you who my kind of pressure baka my stress kayo so so i bought this one because i've seen so many commercials blogs about that this is a really good one this is a really good highlighter bronzer and blusher so i bought this four colors okay one is the blush on this is the bronzer this is the highlighter as well as this is the highlighter and you can blend two or three colors depends on how you're gonna use it so i bought this thinking that okay um although napakamahal siguro worth the money so i am using the bronzer on this right now okay i'll show you let me see if i can use my face so i use the bronzer for the side and then the 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 pink the pink is this and the highlighter is this okay now what i've noticed is Dito sa palette na to, even though napakamahal niya, it's, it's way different than the second brand that I'm going to introduce to you. So this is the, either you can use a blush color, you can also mix it together. This is the highlighter, this is the powder. So it's, it's multi-purpose collection. The price of this is way double than the price of, of Dior. This brand is Natasha Denoma. So I found this brand na mas last longer. Let's say I go for like uh, 12 hours on the go, nasa travel. I found it this last longer as compared to this. Why? Kasi siya para siyang a little bit creamy, lalo na sa highlighter, a little bit creamy. This one is more powdery. This one is a little bit creamy. So, pag ang makeup nyo, so this is how you're gonna uh, think when you're buying makeup. If you feel like you're going somewhere, you stay there for six or eight hours, and you want to look good by the end of the day, na nandudon pa yung makeup mo. I would rather you suggest buy cream, cream uh, blush on, cream, um, what do you call this one, highlighter, because it stays longer, okay? I'm going to show you, um, so I have, so this is, I'll just, this is a powdery uh, texture of bronzer, okay? But I bought this J-Cat bronzer that is really creamy. And when I even swept my finger in it, you can really see how pigmented it is. Okay. And it lasts a long time. So play by ear, see how you feel when you're buying makeup. If you weren't to, if you're going to invest a good price that would last you even for months or even for a year go for it but kung hindi kaya na blusa, if you can only buy those uh, a little bit lower prices uh, makeup make sure choose a creamy kind of makeup if you want to last it longer now again it depends about the creamy kind of look, uh, makeup 
if your face is a little bit oily, pag oily talaga ang, ang facial tone mo or uh, texture mo, you may need a powder. Because para hindi, para hindi maging oily ang dating ng makeup mo. So it depends on what place you're going. You're going. If you're going to a place na you'll be sweating, it's gonna be too hot, so you need to make sure, consider the type of makeup you're using. So I hope this video help you on what to decide to buy for blush on, highlighter, and lipstick. Now, I've, sh I think I've shown before on the foundation, different foundations that I've been using. So I've, what else? Um, I fell in love with the Love Foundation by Lady Gaga. Okay, I fell in love with this. I'm, as I mentioned, I'm not promoting this, but I'm just sharing it with you. Um, the reason why I fell in love with this, I've been using um, the CC uh, Marcel before. I've been using Lancome before. I've been using um, varieties of, of foundation before. Pero dito la ako siya nahiyang because of the texture when you put it in your face. There are some times when you put so much foundation in your face that you find your skin parang flaky siya. Na halatang halata talaga na, na yung texture ng foundation. But I found this foundation na hindi siya masyadong uh, thick when you apply it. At it really um, nababa, nababalance talaga, nabiblend talaga sa tone ng skin tone mo when it comes to the texture or the texture of the uh, formula na ginagamit nila dito sa foundation na to. Um, another thing that I've compared um, this when when I use some formulas at alam ko na medyo either so thick or too skinny nagbi-blend ako ng dalawang brand. So if I were you, kung hindi ka satisfied, let's say bibili ka ng foundation, you're not satisfied with one brand. You can mix two brands together, see what the effect kung maganda ba yung texture ng foundation when you apply it to your face. Dahil some some formula pag medyo especially pag uh, ang binili mo is more on the yellow instead of more on the blue pigment kalimitan pag i-blend mo yung two two colors together mas maganda yung result so i always play by ear and see which one it looks good to me another thing na siguro napapanood nyo anywhere about this magic magic blush on in a tube okay nakikita niyo ito lahat sa mga youtube sa mga mga bloggers so the beauty of this itong masasabi ko nito the beauty of this is there's a brush and there is uh the the color of it so you just when you're nagmamadali ka you just put it on two dots and then you brush it's really good if you have this it's really good when you're traveling, okay? Now, another thing that in the in na isi-share ko sa inyo that I really like, especially when you're traveling, wala kang brush, nagmamadali ka, is this pixie ngayon. Ito yung pixie na tinatawag. So, it's really good. Para siyang deodorant roll na you just swipe it, swipe it in your face like this. One swipe, one swipe, and then you just blend it with your finger. I just put like that a little bit. So, if you can invest one, then go for it. That's all for today. This, these are my tips for you. Once it's summertime, it's a good time to buy uh, makeup. So, choose whatever you feel like comfortable. you're comfortable with it. Thanks for watching. Please continue to subscribe and share this video. Bye for now.